Welcome to the sixth tutorial of MRV2. Here we'll look at the drawing tools and the action tools. The first action tool that we have is scrubbing, which is the default tool. Here in, in the bottom of the screen, you see the tool that you're using. Scrubbing allows you to quickly go back and forth in the image. In order to work scrubbing properly, you probably want to adjust the, the, the read behind setting a little bit. Let's set both to four. And now we can play, play back and forth much more easily. The next tool is the selection tool. It's not a square, it's a square that allows you to selection. It works with the histogram. Let's go to another frame. It works with the color area. It works with the vector scope. It works but then let's go to the fun parts let's start drawing something the draw tool allows you to do freehand drawing the eraser tool all the draw tools and eraser tools work with the annotation panel. Here in the annotation panels, you have the, the font text and size, the pen color and pen size. For example, let's exchange it. The pen size is a little bit bigger so we can erase. Oops. Let's undo that. That's the undo, by the way. Let's erase some, some of it. The default annotations that you do have a ghosting of 15 frames, which means that they fade in and fade out smoothly. If you don't want that, you can change it. And the tools here, we have the annotation tools. The annotation, every annotation tool is attached to a frame, which is displayed as a red bar in the timeline. The, you can also have annotations that are permanent on the screen. For that we go to from we change it from current to all frames. And then for example let's draw win now that win will remain on the screen forever. In order to go to, to remove the, the notation of a win, we need to go to the frame where it was, or remove it from all frames, or remove all the notations. Let's go to the previous notation. This is the notation of win, so let's clear it. There we go. So now we got rid of the annotation of all frames. You probably don't want to anno annotate for all frames. It's just for crazy, crazy people like myself that do that. Usually you annotate one frame at a time. Okay, so we cover that. The annotations you can clear all or Let's clear all the annotations of all the timeline. 
and let's draw some something else let's draw a circle here Let, oops let's undo that because we have the the pen size too big and let's change the color we can change the color from here or from here well we selected the color that was almost identical let's change it to, to red we can draw squares we can draw arrows and we can draw some text in order to draw some text we have to click on the X the green X to to accept it if we click on escape it, it we cancel the drawing of the text but let's let's do it again now we click on the arrow of the text and the text moves a little this is a pro a bug in, in MRV2 we I still have to fix it but the text disappears just like the just like the all the drawings And one important thing for international users is that the text works with all international fonts. So you can have Japanese, for example, there. Let's do that. Let me find. Let me find something in Japanese. We can copy and paste it. Well, we haven't fixed the text, we can move it around. We can select it and edit it. This is a full editor. We switch tools, the, it's the same as accepting it. Okay, that's all for the tools. Oh, yes, we of course have a redo tool. So that if we do undo, we have to do redo, undo, redo. Okay, and with that, we do finish it, this tutorial.